Welcome back to Destroyer 1320. What did you do? What did you do, sir? Let's take a look. Well, as most of you know, I traded in my 1320 for this here butte. Why did you do that? Well, I kind of explained it in my first video that I was at a dead end road pretty much with my 1320 without spending way more money than I wanted to and ruining something that I felt could have been in the future worth some money. So instead of, you know, being kind of a purist, I wanted to make sure that somebody else had a chance to enjoy the car before it got chopped up and turned into a race car race car. So that's where this is step one of my plan for the future of the channel. And what is it? Well, this hair is a 2018 Dodge Ram 2500 Power Wagon Edition. Why did I get the Power Wagon? I mean, just look at that. That thing's a beast. And a couple fun facts here. This thing stands two inches taller than a standard 2500 Ram. It comes with factory lockers, front and rear. It has 12,000 pound winch built into the front. And, oh, let me see if I can get under here. See that? That's an auto disconnect front sway bar. So if I want to get off road when we go camping and gets nasty with this thing, I just push a button. Another cool feature of the power ram, built-in fifth wheel hitch. I got the ball out right now because evil doers like to uh, take stuff like that. How do I get that ball out? Come over here to the driver's side fender. Come under here and see that? This little tab right here. Slide that out. You can pull it out. Push it back in. Locked in. Pretty dang simple. Oh, and another reason why I like this truck. Yeah, it came factory with Bilstein shocks. All of four corners. I mean, this thing is just a beefy, beefy, beefy unit. Well, what's going on on the inside? Well, let's... Let's take a look. Oh, it helps if you unlock your truck, you big dummy. Let's see here. Here we go. So it's got the typical Ram mirrors that are power adjustable. Hit this here button and they turn whoop for towing. Got my big old step here because this has 35 inch tires on it. And yeah, to get up in here, I'm six foot and this thing is hard to get up in. So I'm glad they had those put on here before I got the vehicle. Let's hop in and see what we got. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. So being a 2018, it doesn't have that big monster screen, which I'm totally cool with because it's just more stuff to play with. I don't need all that. Uh, came with the Alpine sound system. It's got a subwoofer in the back. And uh, let's see, it's got some tow features. Here's the unlocked. Here's rear lock and front and rear lock for the lockers. To release that sway bar, all I do is go beak, push the button, good to go. Got your typical four wheel drive stuff, four low, four high. It's got trailer brake built in, uh, downhill assist. It's got, man, it's just insane how much stuff this thing got. Got your little power thing here. It has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six cup holders up front. This thing, you could probably put a half a body in there. And then the cool part about this, okay, it lifts up. Yeah, that's neat. Well, check this out. There is another lip down here. Oh, man. Do a little stashy stash, maybe a little pew. Oh, who knows? But this thing has just all sorts of room. It's got two glove boxes. Uh, let's see, you got one up here, one down here. Yeah, this thing is insane. Let me check out the rear seats. So you come in here and it's got storage on either side of the truck. So you got kids with toys and all that crap that's gonna rattle around. You just pop it in there. You can see real super nice seats and everything. It's got a uh, imprint of a tire through the seats, which is just really badass. If you pull this up, oh, what's this guy? pull this up. Yay. Can I do it from here? Oh, I got it. All right. So this 
folds out. It's got a little, uh, if you put this like that, and you fold this over here, check it out. And I can do both sides like that and have this be a flat bench now. I mean, this thing is just ridiculous. Remember I was talking about that Alpine audio system? This is the subwoofer. Makes all the bass. So, heck yeah, man. We can go boom, boom, booming around. See, here's the other one of these. Just telling you, this thing here is pretty dang fancified for my silly self. I'm a pretty simple dude, and this got a lot of extra stuff. Oh, ram head, cool. We got a two and a half inch receiver here for the hitch. Check this out. Four pin, seven pin. We already know it's got brakes already built into it. This thing was set up with full LEDs. It's got LEDs back there. Got one up there. Now, an issue I ran into, I had to purchase, because I replaced that center light. That center light was worn out when I got it. And let me show you what I grabbed here. Well, there's a bunch of videos on it, so I'm probably not going to do one on it, but... OBD Link MX, this is what you need if you have one of these 2500 trucks. You can get in and tell it, hey, you got LEDs. Because if you don't, there's no resistance with the LEDs in comparison to incandescent bulbs or standard bulbs. So what you do is you tell the computer, hey, dummy, you got LEDs. And it stops from saying that you have a turn signal out. Because it's a common thing on these if you change them. Well, let's see what's under the hood, sir. All right. Oh, that's a beast. Oh, what's in there? That is the same engine, quote unquote, as my old car. So, ooh, yucky. And by the way, this is really the first time I'm intentionally opening the hood and checking everything. Uh, let's see, we got... Goodness, that thing's long. Oh, we got oil in there. Let's take a look. Oh, she plumb full. That looks pretty clean, too. Looks like they may have done a rather fresh oil change. So according to the dash, it says it's good. And, well, that kind of confirms it looks pretty good. But other than that, it's, it's completely stock. There is nothing done to this vehicle. It is quiet as a church mouse. We're going to have to address that rather quickly. And there is a computer that I will be more than likely purchasing that goes on top of here called the Pulsar. See if we can kick this thing up closer to what the old 1320 had because... Factory numbers on this is 410 horse and 429 foot-pounds of torque. That's just not enough for old E. So I'm going to have to juice this baby up. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick introduction into what we're going to be towing with. And uh, let's see. Ooh, tomorrow I go and look at the car that's going to be pulled behind this thing. So those who thought, oh, why'd you just get a truck? We're not getting a truck. We traded one car. We're getting two vehicles. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys have an awesome day. We'll see you on the next one.